Hands up. <clears throat> it's like he obviously know he coached cornerbacks here, but I'm curious your thoughts on Frank Brown being announced as the Syracuse head coach. Uh, real, real happy for him. Proud of him. Um, yeah, so I'm just happy for him. Glad he got a job. Yeah, I know you being from Philly, you being a South Jersey guy. Just what was your relationship like with Coach Brown, and how did help? How did he help you develop as a player? Um, so I met Coach Fran my ninth grade year. He was at Temple, so he kind of he kind of recruited me there before he left and went to Baylor. Then offered me at Baylor. Uh, so then once I got here and Coach Adai left, Fran got announced a job. So. Um, we kind of uh, connected back together, then been close ever since. So I think he helped me as far as like the mental part because I was coming off uh, ACL that spring when he got here. So him just helped me get through that process also, and like just pushing me to go to go my all each and every day. Today, uh, Malachi was announced as a Jim Thorpe Award finalist. <laughs> what is it that makes him so special and has made him stand out like he has on national level? Uh, just versatility. I think the coach do a real good job. Of, um, Put him in different situations and uh, him being able to be successful in those situations. So real happy for him and uh, glad. Uh, so uh, hopefully you go out there this week and uh, be able to bring it home. Kike, you haven't been shy of hitting guys. Uh, Milro looks like he brings a little bit of a challenge. Can you tell us, um, you know, just what you see and how you game plan for a guy with that size and speed? Uh, yeah. So um, as far as like the game plan and just um, back end, just trying to do what we do uh, cover uh, a lot of plaster and. Um, yeah, when we get a chance to tackle him, we got to make sure we uh, come with our stuff straight up because um, he, he ain't a little guy, like you said. So making sure we come with the right mindset. Hey, Taki, uh, Alabama is one of the best offenses in the country in terms of red zone. Your percentage and touchdown and scoring and stuff like that. So how important is situational football like red zone defense in a big game like this? No, I think red zone defense is definitely going to be a big part. Um, once we get down there, they get, uh, we preach if they get down there, um, three points is better than six, so just trying to force them to a field goal. Did you guys establish yet where the mob chain survives? Uh, this week? Him? You talking about this week? Well, well for the past game? Moving forward from uh, with with Coach Franley. No, we ain't even hit on that yet. So um, <laughs> we just got the news today, so we ain't even speak on this. Who's before. got it this week? Uh, Ja'Cory Thomas had got it. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like he has a program that's won national championships, rivalry games, major bowl games. But what would winning this SEC championship mean, both given the opponent and the fact that it is an SEC championship? Uh, just being so, um, when we come in, uh, talk about team rules right before fall camp, when everybody get here, we just somebody put another number, another number on the wall. So, that, um, so that'd be a, that'd be a big accomplishment. So, just trying to go in and be able to do what we gotta do. Back to you, when Kendall was in here, he talked about Coach Smart bringing up to the team that. Georgia has never beaten Alabama in the SEC title game. What kind of a motivation do you feel like this is for you guys to, to go out there and, and check that box? Uh, I think we're going to treat every game at, um, like um, I think we treat every game the same. Uh, so the biggest thing is preparation, going out there and not being um, just going out there and, and knowing you you worked hard for this. So um, let me get to go out there this Saturday and kind of show that. Thank you. Georgia's only got three transfers in the whole program. You're, you're one of them. <laughs> Obviously, Kirby's pretty picky. I don't, I'm sure there's not a job interview, but they, they probably fill you out pretty deep. What kind of guy do they look for? I mean, what does it take for Kirby to want to take somebody into this program? Uh, so, yeah, the season I came in, it was we only had three of them. So, and we got three of them now. So, I think uh, the biggest thing is character. Um, and then just knowing they could trust you on and off the field to uh, make sure you handle your responsibilities. I think when you get here, you, know, <coughs> you got to kind of be mature. Uh, coming in as a transfer, and then, uh, like I said, the biggest thing is just trust them knowing you're going to be able to handle yourself off the field and not get into any trouble. Taki, I think after the game, I noticed you tweeted something along the lines of learn and move on, essentially. What did you learn personally from Saturday's performance against Georgia Tech, and how do you guys apply and correct it this week? Uh, so, yeah, I kind of tweet that at each and every game. So, uh, even if we play good, play bad, I st still kind of tweet it because uh, I think we, like I said, we live and we learn. Um, Georgia, uh, Georgia Tech did a good job of presenting us some different stuff and um, was was real successful on it. So, like I said, go back to the uh, drawing board like we did on uh, Monday and kind of clean up the mistakes. So, like I said, we live, we learn, and we improve. What is uh, your relationship like with uh, Tresman Marshall and Jermaine Burton? And, and is, does that get weird when you come into a game like this? Um, no, I don't get weird, but uh, just understand this. Uh, when we're on the field, business is business. But uh, me and Tresman kind of got close that 2021 year because uh, – 
we both was out for the season, so just rehabbing together, that, that kind of got us close. But like I said, when we on the field, business is business. Hey, Zach, you played a lot of snaps with Javon and Malachi on the back end of that defense. How much confidence does that give you going into a big game like this, just knowing that you got all that experience and synergy with those two guys on the back end? Uh, no matter what game we're going, to, I got confidence in them. Uh, then we do a real good, good job of feeding off each other energy, and then just us being there to go through the stuff we went through uh, this whole all season and uh, summer, fall camp. Just kind of build that bond. So um, we got a real close relationship with us, and uh, looking forward to going out there and uh, executing on Saturday. You guys have one more. Anybody? All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.